We're here shooting another video showing you another one of our trailers, the Taylor Coach. This is a 24-foot Taylor Coach double bunk model. Uh, I'm bringing this particular trailer to you today because this is my own very personal trailer. Um, belongs to me and my wife. We're very avid campers. The thing that I'm bringing this to you, for the reason I'm bringing this to you today is for the fact that you know, today when people go out and buy recreational vehicles, the thing that I find when they're talking to salespeople and that out there is that most of these salespeople do not do any camping at all, and so they're trying to sell you a particular product that they're just trying to show you features and not trying to explain to you things that they really like about it because the experience of themselves. And being in this industry for 35 years personally myself, taken over after my father had passed away, um, I'm here to show you how I camp today in our own personal trailer. Now, this 24 foot, with all the creature comforts, we have everything on board except central back. When we put it on those set of weight scales, they came in at a weight of 2,740 pounds. Some of the things I added to my own trailer, one was a power jack on the front here to make it easy for hooking and unhooking and that, that if I wanted my wife to bring the front up and down, I didn't have to worry about her cranking it or not that it was heavy, it just made it very easy. Um, we also have the big balance jacks all the way around um, to make it easy for leveling up. We have an A&E rollout awning. I also have porch lights on my particular trailer all the way around. So when I'm out at nighttime, if I'm looking at my bike, bikes that are strapped on the back, I've got lighting there, I've got lighting on over on my dump side if I want to empty my tanks during the night over at the dump sites and I've also got a light on the front for hitching and that. Or if I'm just going out for a walk in the campground, I sometimes turn all my lights on just to light my particular coach up so i got more visibility out on the road to that because we are a lot of times also camped off the grid. And I'll show you why I also camp off the grid on some of those features on the inside. So let's go on board and I'll show you some of the stuff on the inside. Okay, now we've got you on board our personal trailer here. Um, I wanted to show you some of the features on my own trailer because me and my wife spent a couple argues, a couple hours discussing back and forth on what she wanted and what I wanted in a trailer. Um, one of the things I like in a trailer when I come in is that I've got some landing room here that when I take my shoes off I got a spot to set my shoes in that because we're running in and out of the trailer at times and I don't want to be tripping over shoes. The other thing I like is that when we come on board and I'm carrying groceries and stuff when we're loading at home that we've got a little bit of room to come on board to be able to set stuff on that so that we can unpack all our groceries and get them on board to get on our way. Um, at the front up here we have a 48 inch dinette by 6 foot 3 with an overhead bunk area that I rate for 200 pounds. This also makes into a great area for a couple if we take a couple another couple camping with us and that also another thing that we use our bunk for up here is all extra bedding and that so we've got all our extra bedding stored up on top here makes it very accessible that for, for making our beds and that as well as a great place to store it when we're traveling um, the thing that my wife really wanted in a trailer was to have a nice size counter so this particular trailer has an eight foot counter in it um, and, and creating that counter in this trailer from to give you a size of my own trailer from tip to tip this trailer is 24 feet or it has a 20 foot platform which is the floor area is 20 feet and we've created a nice size counter in it lots of overhead storage area here with all our dishes up above we've got our microwave with still more storage up above we've got a nice double sink with a high rise for doing our dishes We've got a nice three burner cooktop with an oven and I like an oven on board my own personal trailer because it gives me an option if I want to do a casserole or some nachos or anything I'd like to do. I do have that on board if I choose to do that and not just always barbecuing while we're cooking. Another, another feature we came out in my own personal trailer here was a garbage container. A lot of couples I talked to, we all talked about, you know, the garbage cans on the floor getting kicked around and uh, we came up with an idea of having a slide out garbage can we put our bags in it makes it very nice when we're prepping food to use for the garbage and we also have a recycle bin down below that so we're very conscious of the parks and trying to be environmentally friendly um, 
bringing you around to the back here a little bit on the trailer. This is our couch back here. This pulls into a 54 by 84 inch uh, in length as a double bed. Uh, we also have reading lights here that uh, my wife loves to read at night. Um, and myself in particular, I like watching the news or a movie. Um, and in televisions, we are using the, the Jensen. This is a Jensen 24 inch LED flat screen TV, so it's strictly 12 volt. Um, I can leave it out in the cold. Um, the other thing I like about it too is that we have a Jensen multimedia player on board here, so I can watch movies at night and that. So if it's a rainy night out and we're kind of stuck inside, we bring a couple extra movies with us and it makes it really nice. We can snuggle up in bed and we watch a couple movies on that that I don't get a chance to watch at home because I'm usually busy during the daytime. And a lot of times in my trailer here, I do pull this out to a bed and I leave it to a bed all the time. We also offer that you can get your coaches built with a permanent bed. It's really your choice as a consumer. I like the flexibility that I can push my bed away. I can make it into a couch. Makes it a nice lounging area if I want to bring a couple more couples on board. Or I can pull this back out. We leave it to a bed. So it's my choice on what I like on board and what I don't like on board. Um, some other features that we've got here, we've got a nice size closet here with a couple of shelves for storage and lots of hanging up above. Um, I think this feature here is the one that my wife chose to want most in the trailer and that is a food pantry. And when we're out camping in trailers today, the biggest thing I find when I talk to couples about their food area is that we have food stuck in the overheads, underneath the counters, sometimes underneath the seat and sometimes in our automobiles. And what's made it really nice as we've listened to consumers was to create a food pantry on board here that we've got all our food stored in one area so when we're grocery shopping and picking up our things we've got in one area we know exactly what we got at all times and you've got your closet right beside it. Moving, moving up to another item that I have on my own trailer is a Go Power solar panel so that for the type of camping I do, I do camp a lot of more field camping and off the grid and stopping in areas and having the solar panels on board, I can then keep my batteries charged up all the time that I can use all my creature comforts from showering to my solar panels to my furnace and that. And those are things I really enjoy in camping and I'm not really concerned that my battery's getting run down. Uh, the furnace is a choice that we use in our trailers is an Atwood furnace. It's a ducted furnace so that we can add a few ducts in the trailer. So we got heat ducts at the front, at the back here in the middle. And my main other object is to be able to heat my bathroom so that the coach is very evenly heated in the trailer. So we're not concerned that when my wife goes in the bathroom or women in general go in and use their bathrooms that they're complaining that the bathroom's cool feeling. We use a Dometic fridge on board here. So, and the thing I like about this 6.5 is it does have a light inside the fridge with a nice separate freezer. So when you get up in the middle of the night and you need a glass of milk or something like that or you want a drink of apple juice or that, it has its own light on board so that you can see in the fridge without turning any lights on to disturb anybody inside the trailer here. The other feature is to show you our bigger size bathroom here. And on the bathroom on board here, I have a three-piece bath here where we have our separate toilet with the overhead cupboard with lots of storage for our extra towels and everything. And uh, we have a nice medicine cabinet on board here for storage in on the medicine cabinet with the mirror for shaving and everything. We've got lots of counter space for storage. We've got more storage underneath for your toilet paper and extra, extra, any extra towels or anything you want extra on board. Um, Something that my wife really enjoys trying to create in a bathroom is here where we've put in a, a bin here for our dirty clothes and that. So when we're showering on board, we've got our own bin for dirty clothes. We've got the garbage can for when you have any garbage of that without trying to carry your garbage back out to the kitchen. Because um, most people, when you come to the tub areas in a, in a travel trailer today, this is a 36-inch sit tub. Um, and what most people use their tubs for is dirty hampers. And what I have is I have my own dirty hamper here because we use our bathroom all the time for showering. I don't use plastic enclosures because I find they crack in the cold when you put trailers into very cold environments. 
This is all a vinyl overlay. We've been doing our bathrooms like this since 1979, and they work absolutely fabulous for us. Um, so for people that are doing lots of showering on board, this is a, a particular option that we show them in ba different bathrooms that we offer in trailers. So it depends on individuals and what they want in a trailer and what they want in a bathroom configuration also. We do many different bathroom configurations. Um, showing, you, showing you that all on board, I really hope you enjoyed the tour of my own personal trailer. Um, from there, if you've got any questions on our product or that, you can go to taylorcoach.com to find our, our website and you can find my telephone numbers and our location. If you're after certain things in different trailers, because we build a wide variety of trailers right down to, starting from little 8 foot house trailers right up to 24 footers. So it depends on what you're looking for in a travel trailer. Everything is, is out there in way of options that you can add to the trailer or delete from the trailer. So you pick as a consumer. So in the future, if you've got any questions, feel free to give me a shout. Again, my name is Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach. Look forward to hearing from you. I hope you enjoy the video. Take care. Bye now.